before we get the tremendous lift. Okay. That's continuous bubbling. This is a burglar. The difference is, this I don't need to dig the well. No post hole here. If I'm in a school and I'm on concrete, what am I gonna do? So this will work sitting in the fish tank if I want to, yeah. right? Take it outside the fish tank to poke a hole in it with a unisil. They sell it in my mouth, piece for four dollars fifty cents. You know, you drill the hole, you pop the little rubber gasket in, it, that's it, you're done. Okay. I would I would always have it outside. Okay. okay. Yeah. So these are just different examples of ways right. to do it. This one would be the well. Yeah. You would take a whole sole digger, put it much more water, much cheaper, and much higher. Much higher. If you can dig the hole. Okay. Okay. But there's no necessity to have your apparatus going this high. It no. Only to go as Fact high as your is, bed. if your fish tank is knee high, 24 inches, right. your center beds and your float beds are normally only at two inches above that. Right. And the center beds are 12 inches above that. So you're only 12 and, and two is 14, 14 and 24. Who can do that in their head? 14 and 24, 38. 38. Be 38 inches high. Yeah. A luau table is 30. Be eight inches above this. It'd be right here. Is that a nice workable height? Because yeah. I have a rule. I guard between here and here. That's it. I don't want it. I drop a quarter, it's a lucky kid. Yeah. You know? If I drop a five dollar bill, I negotiate for it. You know? I want some of it. You know? Right? But I don't want to climb a ladder. I'm not into doing fruit trees and crazy things like that. Most aquaponics is between 24 inches and 40 inches. Rarely do we pump water more than 24 inches high. But air pumps, the French invented this system here in 1740. But the way they did it, they oddly did it exactly the opposite the way I do. They sent the air down the center tube let it out the center tube into the big tube and it came out and it gushed. It only goes up six inches. Just like, you know, when I took this out, it's just bubbly girt. And if they have to go two feet high, go up in the internet. We have colleges doing this. They go up six inches, buy another pump. Go up six inches, buy another pump, and they got four 24 watts. Well, guys, that's 96 watts. Yeah, you're back to 100 watt again, yeah. right? Why not just go the whole 24 inches, one jump, and aerate at the same time? By doing this little thing, we came up with this thing, this stopper here, we dremel tool it out, this piece of pipe is going right to here. So the water goes up, falls free, falls down, and next it's out. If you don't do that, if that, every time it burps, it has to get through two inches of standing water, it stifles it, right? The other one is, you gotta let the air go. And every young college buck comes along and goes, I'm going to hook a fitting to this and run it back and stick it in the air and get the, the tank air ready. Well, that's about like taking a potato and sticking it up a, a moped pipe. The moped's going to run pretty good. Oh, if I just, you got all that energy going out the back. How about I just light? <laughs> Give me all that. Right? Just not going to work. you got to let the air go. Okay. When you look at this, if I turn on all the pumps at one time, and that it's kind of curious to see which one runs, isn't it? If all three get the air at the same time, that's the most efficient one. It's raising the water higher than everything else. The other two are, can't do anything. If I turn off the yellow one, see which one of the two run. We're doing the two outside. This one's the next favorite. Notice one over here, the compression will only run if it's the only one running, then it will run. That tells you a story right there. This is the most efficient. Well, it's kind of odd. We just do it exactly opposite the way the Frenchman did it. Yeah. Yeah. Question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is there any advantage to having one of these check valves when you're doing the pulse? No. No. No, you only do the check valve if you can't dig a hole. So if you or never a hole, do a check valve. If I can dig a hole, I'm digging a hole. Gee, I mean, come on. No moving part? Moving part. Now, all right? I go up to Philippines, Korea, China. I can't find a plastic one. They're 22 bucks, $25 here. Why not all pieces or on the internet? There's no such thing. 24 inches. 
<laughs> Boy, 24 inches will give you 300 gallons an hour. You go four feet deep, you get 600 gallons an hour out of the same pump. Gee, if you can, you go four feet. Because yeah. what it is, the air can get a bite of the water. When I go 10 feet, because the pump only puts out one and a half psi, every foot going down is a half a psi. So when you read a pump, so this pump can pump to 10 feet, that's five psi. Take a half a pound of pressure every foot of depth you want to go down. So you can only go down five foot if you've got a two and a half PS.